Hi guys, it's Maggie from Magnificent Tarot and I am back with another soulmate reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, Jupiter, and North Node. I would like to thank everybody for all of your love and support. Thank you for your likes, your comments. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. To all my existing subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. And to all my new subscribers, welcome to my channel. Um, I am taking new clients. Um, you can reach me on Instango. Um, the link to contact me will be in the description box. Um, you can contact me via email or you can DM, DM me privately on Instagram or Twitter. Okay, without further ado, let's get started with your reading. Okay, so um, I'm doing a nine card spread. Uh, first three cards are the past, middle three are the present energies. And the last three are the future potential energies. Overall energy is the star card. Um, with your spread today, I let the cards fall out while shuffling. Um, and I, you know, and it's just by divine guidance. What you know, I speak to the cards, and this is what they presented to me. And I shuffled and got this as the overall energy. And this actually showed up in the Taurus reading um and it's the star card and it represents hope you guys are hopeful you guys have a lot of faith this month the month of july um and you guys are balancing out as well i see this is a trend now everybody's balancing their emotions um everyone is healing because this is also representing healing from um past negative energies um due to toxic situations and karmic lessons um, as you know, we're in the month of July, and there's about five planets in retrograde, specifically Saturn, Mars, um, and there's going to be a lot of uh, situations that are going to present themselves to you this month um, in order to allow you to tie up those loose ends, okay? So, for the past energies, we have the Devil, we have the Eight of Swords, and we have the Four of Swords in the reverse, Okay, so what I'm seeing here is there is an energy of it feels like there's an energy of someone obsessing over a past relationship. This could be you, uh, Pisces, or this could be the cross watcher. Um, what I found interesting about this particular spread is that you guys did not show up as far as your sign in this spread whatsoever. But we'll see. So we'll go during the reading. What I'll do is I'll pull another card, a clarifier, just to kind of see um, which energies are representing you specifically. But right now, this. Uh, with this spread I'm not seeing Pisces here but that's okay um, there's no cups here we only have swords wands and we have one pentacle I mean we can consider the magician um, because it has a cup there because he has all elements um, but I digress the devil the eight of swords and the four of swords talks about um, obsessing over a past toxic situation or relationship. Um, there was some type of feeling of uh, bondage to this relationship or to the residual effects of the relationship. Okay? As you can see, we have two people bounded together and we have someone feeling trapped. Um, so someone felt like they were tied to a situation to someone and it was putting them in a state of anxiety, negative emotions, um, making them feel, I want to say, it made you feel confused because we have uh, confusion with the Eight of Swords and we have confusion um, with the Four of Swords. I, I, and I say confusion with the Four of Swords. Um, I mean, it can represent isolation in the reverse. It can represent unrest. And for me, unrest, mental unrest is similar to confusion. 
Um, I also find that with the devil card, there was some a feeling of shame. I feel like you guys felt sh ashamed, uh, possibly because you of what you've done to someone, or what what you allow someone to do to you, Pisces. Um, so either the cross watcher feels shame because they did something negative or they feel shame because they allow you to do something negative or the vice versa. And there's a feeling of guilt and also a feeling of fear. I feel like in the past you guys were fearful of that you weren't able to break free because we have the eight of swords here. Um, you know, the classic uh, definition is someone feeling tra entrapped. But their feet are not bounded. So it's really just in their heads. Okay. And then with the four of swords. Um, this can talk about feeling lonely. And feeling detached. Or it can talk about feeling like. Uh, something was delayed or postponed. Okay. And this could be that the union felt like it's delayed. Maybe coming into union. But for some reason I'm getting an energy of breaking away. Okay breaking away here from this and this was a karmic lesson here with the devil card um as far as numerology we have a six which is talking about carnal desires and we have an eight here talking about an ending and this is you wanting to break free you are you're coming to um close to an ending or getting into a space where you're tired of feeling this way um, and this is why the four swords presented itself because that talks about resting in the upright. I'm, it's dualistic, so I'm still going to tie in uh, the upright meaning because you guys have the overall energy of the, uh, the star, which talks about healing. And I feel like you guys got to that point where you were, you were just done and you needed to heal from all this negative uh, emotions or negative energy. Moving into the present, we have the Three of Swords in reverse. We have the Seven of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Swords in reverse. And those are very negative energies as well. With the Three of Swords, this can represent sorrow, sadness, um, frustration, difficulties. But it's a transition um, for me. I feel like you're transitioning into another space um, emotionally because we have the three of swords in the reverse here instead of the upright. So you're feeling the effects of this, but they're they're less severe. And this is letting me know that a healing, uh, you're, you're starting the healing process here in the present energies. And then the seven of wands um, is bringing in uh, the feeling of anxiety, confusion as well. Um, and it's funny because it's right beneath the Eight of Swords, which is confusion, um, self-doubt, feel uh, maybe feeling like a failure, maybe um, you felt like you were being you were taken advantage of, and I feel like that's where the guilt and the shame is coming from, Pisces. Maybe someone took advantage of you. Maybe someone swindled you or maybe someone hurt you in a way um, that you, you just don't understand how you could be so blind. Um, or maybe you are in a space where you're no longer wanting to be fearful of expressing yourself or hurting other or, or not putting your or putting yourself first because a lot of people are afraid to put themselves first. Some people feel like they don't want to come off a certain way. But I feel like you're in a space where with the Seven of Wands, you're tired of this opposition, you're tired of the struggle, and you're done with that. You're done with the anxiety, you're done being taken advantage of. Um, it talks about indecision. And I feel like with the Ace of Swords right next to it, you're not going to make hasty decisions anymore as it pertains to love here. And this could be the cross watcher. The cross watcher could be the one in the space of, I'm healing and I'm not going to make a hasty decision Either to, I don't see reconciliation yet here, um, but hasty decision as far as moving forward into another um, situation or another committed relationship with somebody else. Okay, um, this talks about negative emotions in the, in the um, reverse, 
but I'm getting that this is the energy of things not working out in your favor and you are understanding and you're making peace with that. And this is talking about cutting out anything that doesn't serve you anymore. Because you're tired of this energy here, the Three of Swords, Seven of Wands, always having a fight, difficulties, feeling confused, feeling anxiety, having fears here because we have the devil. So you're cutting that out this month, the month of July. Heavy Saturn influence. All first, the first three cards straight away. Um, and then we have Capricorn energy here with the devil and the eight of swords. And then we also have Capricorn with the ace of swords. Okay. A lot of Capricorn earthy energy. Also letting me know you guys are needing to ground yourself this month. Um, Saturn energy is saying, talking about karmic lessons. Be aware that past situations are going to rear their heads this month. Because if you didn't learn a lesson or if there is a situation that you didn't handle well or maybe there was something that you wanted to say or you wanted to express your certain, yourself a certain way and you were fearful, that energy is going to come back around so that you could have a do-over. And that doesn't necessarily mean it's a negative thing. It is, it, it is for the positive. It is for your highest good. And I feel like this is why the star is here because it's saying remain optimistic. Um, because this energy here of the devil... With the Eight of Swords, it's heavy. You express a lot of negative emotions in the past. And the healing process is progressive. And the reason I'm saying that the healing process is progressive or it's moving forward is because we have an Eight with the Eight of Swords. Progressive energy. Meaning that you're making progress through the healing here. Here, trap. And then here with the Four of Swords, not trapped anymore. Resting, healing. Three of Swords, healing. Seven of Wands, making the decision. Cutting out the, 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 the people or things that no longer serve you. Into the future potential, we have the Page of Wands. Someone that is now building their, regaining their confidence, their energy. This is an energetic um, energy here. Young, youthful. Um, this is also progression because this is an eight. You're progressing through this healing process slowly but surely. You're getting to a place where here, as you can see, he's ready. Um, he has his wand and this is action here. He has it and he's looking ahead here. And you, this card is talking about how I, that, the, the stability now. You feel stable emotionally, physically, energetically. You feel enthusiastic and this also talks about maybe a new lover coming in or a message some type of communication about an offer and right next to that we have the magician in the upright and this is a very positive card and we have aries sag energy here um heavy capricornian we have a little bit of scorpio um but with the magician aries confidence you regain your confidence you regain your positive attitude, complete opposite side of the spectrum of feeling heavy guilt, shame, heavy, dark emotions due to being taken advantage of, or because you took advantage of someone and now you're feeling positive because you're going through the transformation process where you're balancing here with the star, as you can see, she's pouring the water into the pond. And for me, um, I feel like this is you, this this symbolically is uh, um, you pouring out the excess negative negativity because you don't, it's, it no longer serves you. So you, you're, you no longer need that and you're pouring that out. And that is through expressing yourself, that is through your tears, that is through communication, that is through whatever you deem to be an outlet for you. Um, that is the process of cleansing yourself from the karmic tie in the toxic situation because this was very toxic and it was very karmic. Um, we also have the Oversoul and the, the Seven Chakras here and I feel like these chakras are being aligned 
because the the, the tr this month um we're gonna have two eclipse eclipses and i think the next eclipse is uh a couple of days from now what's today today's the seventh i believe i think we have one on the 12th don't quote me i'm not an astrologer um but with the magician i feel like this talks about a new beginning um and this is saying that you're now able to manifest what it is that you want as it pertains to love now with this soulmate journey here the soulmate um could be the one going through the healing process after ex having a karmic lesson with you piscean but it, it could be it, like i said the energies can cross so it could be you or the cross watcher heavy 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 capricornian energy We have the King of Pentacles. Somebody is going to be focusing on their selves this month. And this is always a good thing. Self-love. So, um, self-love. Confidence. This talks about a lot of confidence. This man is very confident. This is someone that knows what he's talking about. This is someone that is sure of himself. Um, and this is someone that is focusing on their money. But specifically to this... Uh, the this love reading or the soulmate reading, this is being more uh, emotionally stable. This is someone that's ready to, uh, because this card can represent someone that's a family, someone that's married, you know, family oriented, but I feel like this is someone that doesn't need anyone to complete him. This is someone that is okay with being alone. And doesn't mind solitude, healthy solitude. I want to clarify the King of Pentacles here. And this is also Capricornian energy. Gemini is also showing his face here. Some of you guys were dealing with a Capricorn. A Capricorn really put you through the ringer, or you did that to the Capricorn. Sagittarius, I saw Libra. Um, so I have Eight of Cups. Six of Swords and the Lovers in Reverse. Um, clarifying the Pentacle card. Um, this talks about indecision here. But let's start with the Eight of Cups here. Ready to let something go. Ready to let the past go. No longer want to be held back. No longer want to feel tied down with the devil in the past here. Um, Six of Swords is also talking about letting the past go. Needing to let the past go here. Um, but that could also talk about stagnation. It can talk about hindrances or feeling like you were being hindered by possibly the past or someone that you were dealing with in the past. This could be talking about breaking free from someone if you're still in a committed relationship because the devil here is showing this tie, this soul tie or this karmic tie. So some of you guys could still be in a relationship with this person, putting you in these negative emotions, but you're making a conscious decision to break free from that. And then we have the lovers here. The lovers talk, talks about a breakup. That's why I'm saying that. So some of you guys that are, are in relationships will be breaking up this month, will be going into separation, and you will be in, embodying this energy of being self-reliant, feeling confident, being alone. Okay, and let me just pull uh, one more card. I'm going to go ahead and uh, create an extended for you guys. Clarify the lovers in reverse, please. Because I want to get more into the energy of your partner. Um... Lots of confusion here. This wanted to show its face, but I'm not taking that. The Three of Cups. Possible third party situation. Please clarify the lovers in reverse. Please clarify the lovers in reverse. All right, so we have the Five of Pentacles. Um, you felt left out in the cold, but it's in the reverse. Um, and for me, when I see the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, that is you. Um, same residual energy of the feeling left out in the cold. 
but it could also be you um, wanting to let go of fears. What is holding you back? It's the focus now, Pisces. Because you, I get an energy of feeling like you're unloved. You don't feel like you're loved, or the person you're with never loved you. Is what I'm picking up. Um, the Five of Pentacles talks about karmic lessons here. This is definitely a karmic lesson. Um, you're currently experiencing a karmic situation and lesson. Your task is to recognize the lesson and learn from it. So I believe like this card showing up with the lovers in reverse is asking you to look to the reason for your burdens and find your solution. And I think this is why this is showing up because you're finding a solution and you're needing to make a decision for the best course of action. So in the reverse, um, the energy of the Five of Pentacles is a feeling of loss and feeling insecure, insecurities, um, maybe feeling like, okay, maybe if you're in a, if you do break up with someone, you may be feeling insecure about that. And this is why we have the devil in the eight of swords here. You feel trapped because you don't know what will happen if you leave this person. Will you be financially stable alone? Yes. This person here knows how to make money make sound judgments this is a very logical person i feel like this is what's hindering you this is what the fear is about not being able to stand on your two feet by yourself you're fearful that you may not be able to do that you're fearful of poverty unemployment chaos okay um and with the lovers which is a major arcana this is also a six and the devil is a six um, I want to say that the fear could also be you starting new with someone else because you're used to because this is being used to a certain energy being used to this and I feel like there is a fear of starting over with another person being fearful and feeling insecure about that. And this is why you're not making the hasty decisions with the Seven of Wands to move forward because there could be a new love interest coming in trying to communicate uh, something to you in regards to starting something new, a new beginning. We have the magician right next to it. So somebody could be coming in offering you something, a new beginning. And you may be fearful of that. But the potential future is we have the King of Pentacles, which is suggesting that you most you may want to uh, focus on yourself, which is a good thing. But the star card is saying to remain hopeful, be optimistic. This is a breaking of a commitment. Um, Libra, Gemini energy. Libra did show up as well. So some of you guys may be dealing with the air sign, earth sign, heavy um, uh, Capricorn, but you can be dealing with a Taurus or a Virgo, um, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, I don't see any water here. So you might be afraid of making a bad decision. This talks about trials and tribulation. This talks about indecision once again and uh, you feeling pressure. Um, this could talk about arguments or being having um, miscommunications or misunderstandings. So if you're in a relationship, you don't know how to communicate your feelings or express yourself, or you don't know how to communicate that you want to break the relationship off, um, and which is a heavy or a strong possibility. Or it just means that you're, you're afraid of making the wrong choice or decision. If you leave, well, you end up like this. But we have in a potential future this, along with the star card, which is very positive. 
So your this month will be you overcoming those fears of insecurity, uh, the fear of lack, the fear of being on your standing on your own two feet, leaving the codependent codependency, leaving this situation that you feel tied to, you feel trapped to this situation. So this month is that is focusing on that. And for you guys that are in separation, your focus is on healing from the negative energies of the past that are holding you back, that make you feel trapped. You're, you're ready to embark on a new journey here. And there is a new beginning and there may be a new love coming in for you towards the end of the month. Um, that is your reading, Pisces. Thank you so much for your support and all your love. Um, please contact me if you're interested in a private reading. All the information um, to reach me is 